In FreeCAD, data and objects serve as customizable reference geometry that help you build models with greater precision and control. They're particularly valuable in the part design workbench, where they allow you to position sketches and features by using them as a reference. There are several types of data and objects, but we'll focus on the most common, the data and planes and the data and lines. FreeCAD data and planes are an additional plane that can be offset, rotated or angled precisely and can be used to place sketches and features in more complex orientations. They can also be attached to other shapes and geometry using attachment modes. This can be customized further by using additional offsets. For this demonstration, I used the part design. I created a new body and a new sketch along the XY plane. For the first part of the loft, I created a simple profile. There's a simple slot made symmetrical to the center. Let's just highlight that redundant constraint and hit delete on the keyboard. Hit close, and then we create the next profile for the sketch, placing again on the XY plane. This profile again is a slot profile. I'm going to remove this constraint as it will create a redundant constraint as we saw before, using symmetry to the center point and adjusting it how I see fit. Now with this sketch, I have to create some offset along the Z, say around 20 millimeters. So if I wanted to change any of these, let's say add a rotation, I would have to change the rotation of each of these sketches separately from the map mode using the attachment offsets. I'm now going to add a date and plane. Look into the origin, make that visible. And I'm going to create a datum plane on the XY plane. Using create a datum, we can see it's been placed along the XY plane. Within the datum plane, we have the same attachment methods. So if we go down, we've got the attachment offset. So I'm going to offset this along the Z direction by 40. Let's hit OK. Let's hide the origin and its planes. And select the datum plane and create another sketch. This sketch is now attached to the datum plane. We can create some geometry within. And again, constrain the points. So I've created this sketch on this datum. If I take the datum, I can change the map mode. And obviously that sketch will follow. So if I used 45, then when I look, let's hit refresh, we can see the sketch has followed. So if you wanted to divide your model and everything above this datum follows the same alignment as the datum, then this is possible. We just create another sketch upon the same datum plane. Therefore, it'll have the same offsets as the datum plane. And then we can apply additional offsets to the sketch. Let's add in yet another slot geometry, taking these two points and the center point and hitting close. Then we can use an offset along the attachment, A60, that will offset from the datum, not our point of origin. So that's apply 20 in here and hit OK. So now as this is offset from the datum and this one has zero offset on the datum, this plane can be adjusted by the attachment offset or the map mode. So if I wanted to take this and rotate it around the Y axis, like so, and hit OK. Before we hit refresh, see how the sketches are aligned? Now when I hit refresh, we have these two sketches in a different orientation from the other two, making it easy to adjust additional sketches that have been attached to this plane. If I wanted to do this, say, with this sketch, 
then I'll select the sketch and use the same offset, but I would have to affect this sketch as well, or any sketches that are within. Even if I take the body and transform the body, you can see everything keeps in adjustment. Let's cancel that. Also, we have an additional advantage when we look at the tree view. So if these sketches, control select those in order, and create, say, a loft through those, let's just OK those. Notice the datum plane is outside the loft. For us to affect the offset of, say, these two sketches, if we weren't using a datum plane, we would have to come in and set the offset of our selected sketches. But because we're using a datum plane, it sits outside of the feature, making it easy to access and also quick to adjust. Notice that when we come into the datum plane, the loft disappeared. If we go back to the model and then click on the eye, we can see that within there. We can go back to the tasks and change the placement and any rotation of that datum and hit refresh. Another common use datum object in FreeCAD is the datum line. Datum lines are useful when you need to define direction. They serve as an additional axis for operations like rotation, patterning, etc. They can be attached on an existing plane between two points through a face along an edge, etc. An additional offset distance and angle, the same as the datum planes, can be added for even more customization. So when we start our projects in the part design, you normally create a body and a sketch and pressing the home key, so I have that centered, place it on the XY plane. Our sketching is normally done over the point of origin, like so, which creates, let's say, a pad. If we go out to view and toggle axis cross, we can see the point of origin is here. Any patterning by default will be around the point of origin. So I've created a sketch and just a simple hole. Let's hit OK. If I select that pocket and create a pattern, I'm always going to go around here or any of the axes that I choose from the drop down, unless I select a reference. And we can use an edge for a reference. So when I create the pattern on the occurrences, we can see as we increase this, we're patterning from this edge in a circular fashion. Let's cancel that. A more flexible way, let's just delete that pocket and a sketch and go back to the pad. Let's put a demonstration that we had. Let's place something in that's a bit more complex which was the L shape. So I'm not taking any notice of the point of origin with this one, something like that. And we'll make all those equal and make sure we have our vertical constraints in there. We've got something like this and we could connect it up to this point using coincident and hit close. So what we have is the L shape. So I can add a datum line by selecting the face. You can see there, pad face eight, we've selected it, added the datum line, and it's connected along the first principal axis. And we've got different ones here. So we can select which ones we want. We can use different attachment modes. Let's select first principal axis and change our selection. Use this edge, you'll place it across that edge. Reference two, we can select this edge here. So now our attachment has changed and we've got proximity line. 
if we start changing this, we can use the second principal axis to have this centered between the two edges. Say this square here, if I drew a line going across here and wanted it in the middle of this face, let's remove these. Highlighting them, pressing delete, use reference one and take this line here. Reference two will be this line. Select second principal axis and it's in the middle between these two selected lines or these two selected edges. So I can now reference that. Let's select the top face, right sketch. There's the data line. We'll pull that in using the create external geometry. Right click to cancel. Let's say let's add a circle in here and set these in line with each other. Or I can set a distance. Let's hit close. Use the pocket for that sketch and OK. So now I can take that pocket, run a pattern operation, hold the pattern. It's going around this one at the moment. Let's change this. Something like six occurrences. We can see it's patterned around here. Change the axis. Select reference. We'll come in and select the datum. And we've patterned around that datum. And OK that. We have full control of this datum line. And because we've used external geometry to place these pockets in the correct position, if I take the datum line, and a change the attachment. Let's delete these and pick reference one this time. Let's go for this edge and reference two. Go for this edge. Second principal axis and OK. The pattern is still here. The minute we hit refresh. The pattern is now rotating around this datum line. If I'd used a distance between these two, I set the distance. So that's a reference for the time being and pull this in. Let's say it's about here. Let's just change this back. So that's fixed now. If I hit close, then if this moved again, take the date and line, double click it and delete the first reference out and hit OK. And it will hit refresh. That starts the pattern around this axis, keeping the same distance away. Remember, we've got the offsets as well. So we've got the directions. Now we can place this an offset away and hit OK. Once again, refresh and we'll place that into position. Please note in further versions of FreeCAD beyond version 1.0 and its maintenance release, FreeCAD 1.01, you may see the Datum Objects button change position in the toolbar. This allows for the Datum Objects to be accessed outside the part design workbench. Using the datum planes and lines where we're applying those to patterns opens up a whole new level of customization. We can use a datum plane offset at an angle from a reference to create custom mirrors. In this example, we create an L shape from a body using a datum plane and adjust the rotation as needed. As said, the datum lines in FreeCAD serve as an axis. These can be used to position and direction the individual pattern ends, such as linear, polar, or the multi-transform. This opens up even more customization if we think outside the box. In this example, the offset of a datum line can be driven by an expression contained in a spreadsheet or var set. We can attach a datum line in such a way that it stays centered on a face. 
automatically updating its position if the face moves. This keeps the pattern aligned. Datum features can introduce unnecessary overhead to your project. Sketches can be positioned in the same way as datum planes by using the attachment modes and offsets, the same as what you would find in the datum plane itself. In many cases, you don't need an extra plane, just a sketch with the right attachment mode. Instead of using the planes to support a sketch, we can instead reserve the datum planes and lines for mirroring and pattern directions or special attachment needs. Excessive use may slow down model recalculations. So I hope this video has given you a quick insight in the use of datum objects such as the datum plane and datum line. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you like what you see and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash PayPal me forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash Mango Jelly Solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos and I hope to see you again in the next one.